time to take a look at our Korean dictionary. 사진 한번 펼쳐보고 오늘의 첫 번째 단어를 살펴봐야 되죠. Our first word of the day is 청국장입니다. 와하 어떤 나라에 가던 그 나라 사람들은 잘만 먹는데 여행자 입장으로서는 먹기 힘든 음식들이 꼭 있죠. 자, 한국에서는 대표적으로 뭐 산낙지도 있고 냄새가 강해서 못 먹는 것은 뭐 삭힌 홍어라든지 저 같은 경우에는 아직까지도 뭐라고 하죠? The silkworm s p o n d e g 이를못 먹어요. 요즘. 요즘 이래. 항상 늘. <laughs> Never was able to eat it. Don't think I ever will because I don't want to. But 대표적으로 이제 오늘 소개할 청국장. So in any country you visit, locals enjoy their traditional foods. But from a visitor, from a traveler's perspective, there's always something where it's always challenging to eat. Now in Korea, some examples could include the live octopus, if you've ever seen, the fermented skate, the fish that is quite stinky, known for its strong odor. Uh, but another dish is c h u n g u k j a n g which, although is flavorful, it's not easily approachable for first timers due to its pungent smell. But m a s h a i t i m a n e m s e k a k o y a k e s a c h o m a s r t i r i g i n s h i p c h i a n a n e m s h i k i j a We would call it an acquired taste. It's definitely a level up from t e n j a n g j i g e 근데 또 청국장과 된장의 차이가 뭔지 잘 모르시는 분들이 은근히 있답니다. 이제 공으로 만든 메주를 오랜 시간 소금물에 숙성시킨 뒤 간장을 부어 반죽한 것이 된장입니다. Now, so for those who don't know the difference between c h o n g u k j a n g and denjang, denjang is made by fermenting meju, which is made from beans, in a salt water solution for a long time, and then adding soy sauce in the mixture. 자, 반면 c h o n g u k j a n g 은 콩을 뜨거운 물에 푹 삶은 뒤 어, 볏집에 넣어 더운 방에서 발효시키긴 해요. 그래서 단기간에 만든 것이죠. On the other hand, 청국장 is made by boiling the beans thoroughly in hot water and then fermenting them in like a straw bed in a warm room, resulting in a shorter uh, fermentation period. 근데 이 청국장의 기원은 꽤 오래되었다고 하는데요. The origin of 청국장 dates back quite a while. 청국장의 청을 보면 풀을 청이라는 한자어로 쓰는데요. The word 청 in 청국장 uh, uses the Chinese character to mean blue or, or green. 청. 청국장이 음, 팔할, 어, 팔할 리는 없으니 어, 색깔과 관련 것은 아니겠죠. 옛날 중국 청나라에서 들어왔다고 해서 이렇게 불린다고 하는데요. 1600년대 청나라가 한국으로 쳐들어왔고 이때 청나라 군인들이 먹었다고 해서 청나라의 장, 청국장이라고 부른 거죠. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to refer to the cover, color, excuse me, because c h u n g g u k j a n g is neither green or blue, but instead, it's believed that c h u n g g u k j a n g was introduced to Korea from the c h u n g Dynasty of China. In the 1600s, when the c h u n g Dynasty invaded Korea, the invading soldiers brought this dish with them, leading to its name. So from the c h u n g Dynasty, we get a c h u n g g u k j a n g 청나라에서는 콩을 삶아 어, 말 안장 밑에 넣어 다니며 수시로 먹었는데요. 이 삶은 콩이 말의 체온에 의해서 자연스럽게 발효되면서 청국장이 되었다고 합니다. And so how this happened was, in the Qing Dynasty, soldiers would boil soybeans and then place them under the horse's saddle. So the heat from the horse would naturally ferment the beans, turning them into c h u n g u k j a n g I always want to know, every time I hear these types of stories, was it on accident or was it on purpose? Like, who knew that this could become a delicacy as it is known today, right? 비록 냄새는 고약하긴 하지만 고혈압 예방, 뭐 항암, 음, 빈혈 예방 등 많은 좋은 효능이 있다고 하니까요. 한번 맛을 들어보시면 그것도 이제 좋을 것 같습니다. Despite its strong smell, you know, c h u n g u k j a n g offers various health benefits such as preventing high blood pressure, even cancer and anemia. So it might be worth giving a try. You might like it and you might get some good health benefits, even if it does make your breath stink a little bit. 
but <laughs> in any case, here's dynamic duo, 어머니의 된장국.